Hey, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm coming to you from the International Builder Show in Las Vegas. My voice is a little raspy after three days of being in Las Vegas. Yes. Yeah, but I'm here with uh, Doug Lind. Hello there. Doug, how are you today? We're doing well. Doing well. Doug is the inventor of Trex Elevation Steel Decking. Very cool product. And I think the folks that are interested in really the craftsmanship of a fine deck, oh, we're going to hear about this, Doug. So give us the basics of this system. <coughs> Very simple system. We're just taking light gauge steel mm -hmm. and we put it into an exterior environment. Okay. okay. Steel's been around for a while, but we took it to where we took those attachment points, we coated it. Yep. So it's got that dual coating. Yep. So now we can go exterior with the product. So this is light gauge steel that has a galvanized coating. And then what's on top of the galvanization? <laughs> That's a wet blend that we spray on it. Okay. okay? Kind of our proprietary. Which unit, is just for beauty, basically, at this point, right? It's beauty and it's longevity. Okay. So yeah, that dual coating coating's what's going to give us that exterior rating, giving us our 25-year warranty on the product. Man, that's great. Yeah. Good deal. And I'm assuming 25-year warranty, but really, a steel deck like this, this should be a 50-year-plus structure, wouldn't you say? I got to say, you know, you can look at it out there and you can look at steel that's uh -huh. been there. It's been out in the industry for a long time. A long time. And it's staying there for a long time. Yeah, that's so right. Could you could you make that assumption? I think you could. I don't think it's out there to make that. Yeah, that's very cool. So tell us, what's the one big advantage of using like good steel <clears throat> over using pressure treated lumber? I think the biggest option that I see out there with this is the expectation levels on the homeowner side have gone up too. Yeah, for sure. Well, now we've got beautiful decks. Decking a beautiful railing. Well, all this decking has one inherent theme that goes through it. Yep. And that is whatever the substructure does, the composite will follow. That's exactly right. That's what happens. So let's take that substructure, let's put a flat substructure under it. Boy, this now be, the composite's gonna look the same. I would assume that a deck frame of this would be tabletop smooth and uh, and flat, correct? It's gonna be that way. It's gonna be that way for a long time. Yeah, that's huge. Yep. That's huge. Very, very cool. Doug, I really appreciate your time today. Absolutely. Thank you. And I highly recommend you check out a steel frame deck with Trex Elevations. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks.